What's up guys, welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I am Craig and we are gonna be going over the charts. As you guys know, we've been watching the DXY and the Dow very closely. We have our targets there. We're also gonna go into some Bitcoin charts. We'll get all the way down into the four hour time frame, and then after that, stick around because I'm gonna be looking at Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. These charts are extremely old. We've never changed anything on them. They seem to be playing out beautifully, so definitely stick around for that. Also, make sure you take a second out, smash that thumbs up down below, leave your comments, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure you share them, get them out there, and let's get on with the real analysis. So, um, as you guys know, we've been watching this on the Dow Jones. We did drop, and if you watched my video from the other day, I said we'd probably come back up and test this, which we did that yesterday, coming back down. Um, if we start closing below this, right where it's at right now, on the center of this, uh, let me move this a little bit, right on the center of this falling channel here. If we close below here today, like right about where we're at, um, cl say close below the 33,350 at the end of the day, that's pretty damn bearish for the stock markets. Now let's take a look at the DXY. So the DXY, Getting a little retracement here. We could go down as far as the 102.40 level right here, that last area we broke. Uh, but as of right now, we may continue to bounce off of this 21 EMA here. If that does happen, as you can see, we are showing some hidden bullish divergence right here. Um, that is bullish, but again, it could still come all the way down to this point before it bounce. So if if it does come down a little more, then Bitcoin may have another little pump up, but I don't think it's going to be anything serious at all. Um, as you guys know, this chart, uh, we drew this chart last year. Actually, it might have been the year before. It's a super old chart, but we've had it. Um, now everyone's talking about the DXY. We've been talking about it for years. Uh, but anyways, every time the DXY Topped up here, Bitcoin bottom. Every time it topped up here, Bitcoin bottomed. When it bottomed, Bitcoin topped. Well, this time we have broken this trend line, and that trend line is from 2016. So it's what, almost seven years old. And if we zoom in here, it looks as if right now, look, let me get back over here. As of right now, it is just retesting that line. If this line holds and the DXY continues up, Bitcoin is in serious trouble. I've been telling you guys this for a while. Uh, we'll take a look at some targets. So here's another long-term macro chart. As you can see, I have the FIB channels on here from tops to the bottom here for where it started. And if we look at where it's at now, we are resting right on this FIB. A break of this FIB, um, then this FIB becomes resistance just like it has in the past all the way back. If that does happen, our next FIB level is going to be back down here towards uh, the lower to mid $20,000 range. I've talked about this so much, and we'll look at the very first part where I came up with it. But um, if we do drop below here and get resistance, I think this is going to be our next support. Now, if the bull run is going to continue, depending on what's going on with all the other markets, we'll be able to tell or get an idea at least. But we do get down to these areas and get a nice bounce that could be the beginning of the next run up possibly um, if this breaks at any time we have much 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 lower targets guys so let's take a look at what's going on here's the weekly chart this rising channel which people were calling a bull flag i don't believe that one bit uh, if we drop down below this at any time, that also gets us down to that lower to mid $20,000 $20, section. Now, like I said, if we did get a bounce, we could get a bounce up to this uh, mid 30000 range again, come back down, retest, possibly range in here for a while. But if at any time this breaks, um, I'll show you what the targets are at that. But here is our RSI. We're back below the RSI trend line. You guys know that I had showed you the... Uh, uh, hidden bearish divergence. Let's look at the Amazon to Bitcoin chart. As you guys know, I do see the lowest possible down in the mid $3,000 range. A lot of people are saying that's impossible. Well, I'm sure a lot of people were saying that when Amazon was at 70 bucks up here, that it was impossible that it was going to go to four bucks. So just keep that in mind. I've explained before how bull markets or bear markets work. On every pump, everyone gets super bullish, thinks it's going to a new all-time high, and then it just makes a lower low. 
and then it get pumps again. They wish they would have sold up here, so they think it'll get there again. It doesn't get there um, over and over again, all the way down. That's how a bear market works. If you guys are interested in trading before we go on to the smaller time frames, definitely check out Prime XBT. As you guys know, I'll be doing a NFT giveaway. We're going to have a contest, and it is a sappy seal. I think it was like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 Bitcoin but the winner will receive that so definitely check them out if you haven't already you can join these contests this is where my contest will be it's not up yet it'll say savvy um and it'll, you'll have a password to get in or whatever but you can still join these ones they're totally free um go down below i think this one you may have to nope this one's free too these are both free so uh, definitely check them out if you haven't already there's a link down below so it doesn't cost you anything to trade in the competitions here and you can learn to trade um, on their platform without putting in any risk and then when you actually you know put in your own money you can get up to a seven thousand dollar bonus using savvy 50 as your promo code savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off your fees i will be kicking this off and i will be giving you some more announcements i posted a picture of the nft on my twitter um it's at crypto savvy one is my twitter that's down below too if you scroll through the description so on the daily as you guys know one two three four five we have our abc correction something i wanted to point out here everybody always wants to draw their trend lines using the candle bodies i have always used the wicks as you can see over here we use these wicks once we broke through here we had a big massive drop came back up for a retest stayed up in this area for a while and continued down as you guys know my measured move to that is right here you to take the measured move you go from where it broke up to the top of the wedge and you bring that down to where it broke and this was the first time i came up with my mid to lower twenty thousand dollar range target we still are on our way there in my opinion as you can see this is the area to watch guys this 37 3 37 2 uh we may get a bounce here but if if it does break through like we did here if you look over here uh we we hit it bounced back up came back down and just plunged right through it so uh keep a close eye on that this is gonna be massive a break of this would be a good spot to put a short in just make sure you're don't don't go on high leverage if you don't know what you're doing um and just put a stop loss in to keep your losses low like like i said once it broke here it came back up later on um right in here came back up for a retest so be aware that that could happen it may even get a little spike above that to fake some people out if it does drop below um and then our target our first target there is going to be right around this uh mid twenty thousand dollar range and like i said in the weekly chart that we could bounce up you know continue ranging in this area for a while before capitulating but at any time that we break this our next target is going to be this bull flag and we measured the flag pull just from here we could go all the way up to the top and that would give us a much lower target but for now we're going to do it from the this trend break right here uh, so if we bring that down and that gets us down to around the 6,500 range. There's a good possibility that's where we go, guys. There's also this long-term, this red trend line right here I have is long-term support and resistance, and that's around the 8,900 range. So just keep an eye on those areas. We also broke our wedge in the daily RSI here. We had talked about that when it happened. If it does come all the way down to this range, which it has done plenty of times before, as you can see over here, that could be, you know, that 24,000 range, then maybe get a bounce up, bounce in this area for a little while, reset the RSI, come back down for the lower. But again, look for a bounce here. But a lot of times when people are expecting a bounce in a certain area, they don't get that bounce. Um, remember 6,000 back in 2018, everybody swore up and down. It was going to hold just like they're swearing up and down. Bitcoin won't go below 20 grand. And it did in a big way. So just be careful and a four hour chart so this is how we've been looking at this forever now same thing uh, if you take a look at where we're at now let's zoom in we are you can see the vpvr has major resistance now the 3985 area but obviously it bounces back and forth so if we do get another bounce up maybe we come and retest this 55 again around the 397 um if it you know actually gets a bounce but uh, one thing i wanted to show you in the rsi here the RSI broke and closed the four hour below this trend line that's bearish. Uh, most likely, 
Uh, sometime within the next few days, maybe this weekend, maybe even today, something crazy happens and it drops. But I believe we're still at least have to test this trend line. Now, if it gets a bounce off that and never breaks this trend line, then you can look bullish. Your next area to look for bullishness would be around the 44,000. If that breaks, then you could come up and retest the 50,000. And then you could get bullish if we broke out of here. But anything under this area here, this red channel, is bearish anything above this is semi bullish but i do believe this one's gonna break so be careful guys these have been my same ideas forever here's ethereum chart ethereum looking at 2600 if that breaks you guys know my targets 19 then 15 then 680 uh litecoin mid 20s that's what i'm looking for although if bitcoin does go in that longer term bear market i don't think that's going to end till around middle or end of 2023 if it plays out like the amazon chart so these actual targets for the altcoins could be much lower xrp as you guys know my targets between 17 and 28 and we've been looking at this we broke out here and that measured move is around 17 we also have this long-term trend line around 28. That's why those are my targets there. I still believe we're headed there. Uh, people call me crazy, but look what's happening. It's playing out beautifully. We've got a sell signal on the daily. Uh, what was that? Two weeks ago. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you share it if you did. Scroll down, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. I just wanted to get a quick video out for you on Friday. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Take it easy, and I'm out.